thing is we're an air raid team, okay? But I'm also a huge believer in, in being multiple. And we have a lot of air raid principles, but, but I do believe in being physical and running the power and, and doing some things like Coach was talking about earlier. Um, we have always had a, 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 an athletic quarterback. So our, our quarterback has never been the, the quote-unquote air raid quarterback. We've been able to function in the air raid pass game uh, with air raid principles, um, but we've also been able to utilize a quarterback as well. So we do love running the power read play. Uh, that's something that we've majored in the last couple of years. So power read is the power read to the right. Nail read is nail, is the same play to the left. So power to the right, nail read to the left. So I didn't draw it up, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to teach it off the film. So, you know, we, we always install it versus a 4-1 box or a 4-2 box. So you can see right here, you know, we want to be physical in everything that we do, okay? So we try to be really, really physical, and, and this is a downhill run where you're getting um, physical double teams and you're also being able to run the ball. So basically, whichever side we're running it to, our guard and our tackle are going to double team that three or that shade to the backside backer, okay? We're going to block the center back on the shader to the three. We are going to pull and – arc to the, st the stack linebacker, and then the backside tackle is going to pick hinge, okay? The quarterback is going to read the defensive end, okay? The, the, the tailback is going to run outside zone or stretch footwork where he's going to run the – we call it a railroad track in front of the quarterback where he's going to scoot up, and he's going to run the railroad track in front of the quarterback, okay? And he's running straight to the sideline with speed. Okay, we used to tell the quarterback to take two to three shuffle steps, okay, but we, we, we've kind of got away, and he's going to take as many shuffle steps as he needs uh, in order to, um, to, to read that thing out. Okay, so I'm going to pause it here. So he's going to take his two, two to three shuffles now. He cuts it short there, all right, but ideally we want to take two to three or even more shuffles, all right? He's reading the defensive end. If the defensive end's up the field and he charges the mesh, the quarterback's going to keep it, and he's going to get on the hip of that pulling guard and keep it tight. If the defensive end squeezes, then he hands the ball to the back, and then we get to the perimeter. All right, we don't quite block this thing right. We should be cracking there, and then we should be putting him on him there. Okay, so let's look at it here. All right, so you see that action of the back. The, they actually put two on the, on the back. And then they don't have a quarterback player on the quarter on the power replay. All right, so I'm I'm gonna run it to the end zone here and show you. Okay, they're giving us a shade there. So those two dudes are just gonna double team that shade to the backside backer. We're gonna block back here. We're gonna B gap pick hinge here. We're gonna pull, and then we're gonna read this guy right here. Okay. So the biggest thing that, that we found in high school football is a lot of times this this guy will fly out. You don't want that guard chasing that guy. You want that guard wrapping tight because this guy will end up running himself out of the play. Okay, so if you notice right here, he runs himself out of the play, and then the quarterback just stays front side and gets on the hip of that guard for a touchdown. Okay, so that's the base way we teach it out of trips. Okay, now, anytime we use a sniffer, anytime we use a tight end, anytime we do it with motion, okay, this guy is taught that he is going to do what we call cruising the box, all right? He's going to arc, and then he's going to take care of the scrape player, okay, with his eyes up for any edge pressure, okay? So we're, all we're trying to do is gain a hat at the point of attack, okay? So this is tight end 11 personnel. And this is the beauty of our system, guys, is we can be so multiple, all right? And that's just a backup D lineman playing a tight end right there, okay? So you'll notice he arcs, okay, the end squeezes, and then we hand the ball off to the back. Okay, I don't think I think he gets I don't think he gets in there. Okay, let's look at it from the end zone here. All right. So you again you're seeing right there, they're actually in a three-man front. So we're gonna get those nice down blocks there. Okay, we're gonna arc this guy, we're gonna arc to the scrape player, and then we're gonna read the defensive end. Okay. Defensive end squeezes, hand the ball off.
Coach is Rick Stewart with AllAccessCoaching.com. I really hope this video helps make you a better coach. Make sure you hit the subscribe and like button down below so we can let you know when new content becomes available because we're all about coaches helping coaches. And remember, coach, better today, never as good as tomorrow.